Okay. okay. Food is right. If there is too much of money, if there is too much of money, if there is too much money, the United Nations recognizes food is a right. You are so out of touch. You are so out of touch. No, no, no. Right to food has been established. If, if, please listen to me. That is why there's a UN rapporteur on the right to food. You keep doubting. If there is too much of money in the system, prices is bound to go up. Stop yelling, okay? Prices. If there's too much of money, but there's no money in the hands the of the hungry. Got, uh, there's no serious. money in the hands of the hungry. That is, the, is the majority of inequality. people have is, too little money. Where is the money? Where is the money? What second? What second, Mr. Guru Swami? Mr. Guru Swami, Professor Vivek Dahicha is accusing you. Professor Vivek Dahucha says you are doing voodoo economics. You are saying you are doing. He's, you it is voodoo to, to say no, that it's, to say economics. that it's, that it's the really money economic. supply going out is causing all of these prices to go up is, is absurd. He's talking about Walmart. In the co this country's problems. What's that, Professor? Pro the is basic. Yeah, the, the professor. Intro, in, intro package, and I've correctly you pointed you out the rise in the price of basic foodstuffs. That's not just inflation. There's a real there's a real increase in the price of basic. Uh, vegetables and basic foodstuffs. It's not just. In, it isn't just because the Reserve Bank is printing more, uh, printing more money. The more and basic is problem about is that the cereals. price it's of food has actually gone up, and, rice, and that's the question. Even that though the international prices have dropped. And that again points so it's to. it's not just vegetables. And I would like to add that again. That again points to a dysfunctional Look, distribution system. Everything. Laws of economics do not. I love just a small point. In absolute terms. If there's too in much of money, terms. prices are going to go up. It is not the money supply. Prices this are is, going to go up. You know, I'll tell you one thing, sir. Can I just tell this you one thing? This. I you take you back, get, Mr. Guru Swami. I have tremendous respect figures. for you. But please Mr. Guru Swami, I remember. Look at income inequality. I, I remember, Mr. Guru, Guru Swami, that 1998, why did the BJP lose the elections in Delhi? You know, for two reasons. For two reasons. Not Onion. because the people of Delhi in the year 1998 had too much money. But because of the Anil, fact Anil. that there was a BJP leader called Sahib Singh Verma. Okay. There was a, one second, let me complete. There was a BJP leader, and I'm throwing open the phone lines in a minute. There was a BJP leader called Sahib Singh Verma. With the greatest of respect to him, his bluster. Yes. That, and I quote, in any case, poor people do not eat onions. I remember that comment. And he had to be removed as the chief minister for yeah. saying that. He so said, poor people do not eat onions. Well, you don't have to remove now, will we anything. say today, will we say today, well, most people don't eat tomatoes. Stop eating cauliflower. Avoid your capsicum. And if the ginger goes up to 200 rupees a kilo, I'm extremely we're, we're sorry, talk, we're but poor people that. don't eat we're ginger, tomato, why capsicum. Our price is going up. What will you say next? Poor people don't why eat tomatoes. Our price is going up. That's prices that's are going up the because, the because we, there's too much of we, money chasing too few we, goods. We, I, I want a response to no, this. No, because we are exporting too much food. We no, have deregulated the market, everything that allows price rises. We don't export any vegetables. Of, we don't of course we are exporting food. vegetables. We, we are exporting. No, we are not exporting vegetables. Please don't go on there. Well, we are, we are importing more than we are exporting, but we are exporting too. Otherwise, Bharti Mittal wouldn't have a sign up with Rothschilds. And the others wouldn't have a sign up with Sainsbury. No, they are exporting to the supermarkets of Europe. What is the quantity? Come with numbers. Come with numbers, just not, just not statements like that. The Open point, I'm a physicist. I'm a physicist. Even a small disturbance, even a, a small leave, disturbance leave this, can cause a huge rupture. We are talking about signals. We are talking about price signals, not about volumes. Gentlemen, the first one caller. Place the price goes up. The first caller. go up everywhere. The first and caller on this program, said, it's... We are spending the amount that the Europeans Vandana are Shiva. spending at one-tenth the income. Something has gone wrong. Vandana Shiva, i just like to say, August 2010, the Prime Minister said, it is the poor who are worst affected by rising prices, especially when the prices of commodities of everyday use, like food grain pulses, vegetables increase. We are making every effort possible to tackle the problem. That is 2010, August February 2010, he said, we know the impact this has on the common man. We're not talking about 2013, the first caller on the program today. And I'm, I can tell you today, you on the Times Now news desk, the phone lines are buzzing with people who want to have their say. And our first caller today is, I think, Kailash. I don't know where you're calling. Kailash is calling in from Mumbai, and it's not looking good in Mumbai, is it, Kailash? How does this impact you? Who are you blaming? 
Yeah, I'll know. Quick three point. Number yeah. one, what we need is vegetable security bill and rupee security bill. Number two, the amount 23,000 crores or 1 lakh crores they are going to spend. Where is the mechanism? The PDA and the Food Corporation of India, those are all rotten. Even now, ration shops are selling rice at 17 rupees. Nobody buys. It goes to the hotel. Number three, exactly. for four years, the four years the UPA government was sleeping. What happened? They didn't bring ordinance then. Why now ordinance? If ordinance yeah. for food is credible, then why no ordinance for Lokpal? Everything is clear why they are waiting for Lokpal. Well, thank you, Akalash, for your call. I'm going to take another caller if we can just line up a second caller. That's the sentiment today. That's the sentiment out there. You know, people are going to ask these questions. Everyone wants their say. I'm going to say this once again. I don't want to sound like the cynic on the news are tonight. But the cynical perspective is this. Politicians don't care unless they feel their political prospects will be affected. And there's a general view that there is, you know, there is the middle class of India. It it's, it's doesn't quite matter as much politically, demographically for the political Anna, class one, as the others do. Yes, just sir. Just one sentence on this. It's not That's cynicism. Not it's a hard political fact that the calculation of all of the major parties is that the votes lie in the countryside and the city is the center of extraction of, of money and of rent. Yeah. That's the political reality. And until that sure. changes, until political parties feel that, look, we actually have to win over the middle class, have to win over politically and electorally, yeah. with an election coming up, what you're saying will, will, will remain true. A second caller, you know, I just want to also say one thing, that the Prime Minister set up a committee. That committee, if well, I'm not mistaken, was actually well, headed by uh, Narendra Modi in 2010. That was supposed to come up with suggestions. Right. Yes, Mr. Guruswami? The point is that 30% of India is now urban. The middle class is about 300 million strong. You can't afford to ignore it. That well, is the reality. They aren't I mean, precise. don't go on saying that the government ignores the middle class. They're, it no, cannot afford to ignore the middle the, class. The, the, no well, government can afford to ignore the middle class. Well, the, the UPA has managed to ignore them for the last nine years but and still won, has still won two elections. So that, that speaks for itself. Next caller and is from Bangalore. And the fact that BJP I, supports the FSB no, 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 also no. speaks for itself. Well, uh, next caller from Bangalore. From yes, Bangalore, yes, Mr. Radhakrishnan yes, is calling. Yes, Mr. Radhakrishnan, good evening. Yes, Welcome good to the sir. news. Uh, sweet, just, just lower the volume of your television set if it's on next to you. Otherwise, we'll hear an echo and tell us what do you think about this. Who do you blame? No, nah, I... Okay. No, it's completely switched up. Hello. Go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Go ahead, quickly. Yeah, sir. I completely blame this Congress. I'll tell you why. Since the beginning, this Congress is doing this kind of a policy for the politics. I'll tell you, please, please listen to me. Why I'll tell you? They are inducing all other political parties, parties to follow the same thing. First, they do all these things so that invariably all other political parties, they have to follow this. Anand Goswami, listen to me please carefully. This is going to be like one more, no, this kind of a reservation thing. Once in India, you introduce this kind of a thing, you can never get, take it out because this will become your, no, no, work bank politics. So no other political party, even if they come to power, they can never ever remove this. We are going to bring money. Well, Mr. Radhakrishnan, thanks for your call. I take that question to Sajid. Sajid. One of our viewers, Mr. Radhakrishna, I don't know if you heard him quite clearly. His basic point is this, that you're permanently crippling the Indian economy with putting in a food bill without having the system to ensure that the benefits of that bill actually go to the people of this country. Yes. Increasingly, num yes. and more people are asking this question, Mr. Sajid, also because, you know, on the other hand, there's a large section of this country that cannot afford to buy vegetables anymore. Their daily food intake of vegetables, according to some of the respondents who we were asking, they said we have cut our food budgets into half, which means there are hundreds of millions of yeah. hardworking Indians who are feeding their children half the amount of balanced diet they would have a few months back. How fair is that, Mr. Sajid? Yeah. So, so I'll make two quick points, Arnav. The first is yes. I think the question mark is nobody doubts or grudges the fact that there is a moral imperative for food security. No Indian should go hungry. But the question is, how do you best do it? And the worry with this very large approach is you're not targeting it. Is our PDS system is not ready to, uh, you know, to, 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 to lay out such large quantums of food. There'll be lots of leakages. Uh, and, and the right beneficiaries will not benefit from, the, from, from this food security. So I think that's a legitimate concern. But the second point about vegetables and all, let's be clear that there are many issues being confused here. There's a fundamental mismatch between demand and supply over the last decade as Indians have become more prosperous and rightly demanded better and more food. 
The question is, we need Same much greater investment in agriculture, which has not happened in the last 20 years. No, it's not. It's no, not no, 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 no. It's not, I, I it's not the same point, thing. But you know, there is no free. It's not monetary. Policy. No, 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 no. no. I, no I disagree with you. I, I slightly disagree yeah. with you, sir. I think, I think food inflation. It's been largely, and both you and Mr. Guruswami, I think you're, you're both. You know, very erudite gentlemen, but I must say, I think both of you are not acknowledging the basic reality that food inflation in India has been attributed quite clearly to a supply side problem. It's not a demand supply equation. Yes, so instead exactly of trying right. to fix the infrastructure so I, that results in wastage and no, consequently no, no. So, inflation. That's the whole so point. Hand it, hand it over to Walmart. Yeah. To no, no, no. Walmart no, is going to that. fix this country. No, no, but how are you? No, Mr. Guruswami, why are you being cynical? So the government is relying that. on the same. The, I, the government is relying on the same failed and, infrastructure. Well, I'm not the government. The government, is, government has got the same old And if Walmart was going to be so just, why the are they running away from the 30% procurement? We well, don't need I, any Walmart. You know, I, I, if they can't I, guarantee I procurement I from I India, care. they, got our house they and only I, want to rip this country off. No, I'm asking. I no, Miss, Miss, Miss Vandana Shiva, I didn't get to complete my point. My limited <laughs> point is that to go to the third caller is, isn't I, it true that the government is going to rely on the same failed infrastructure to supply an overambitious food bill? What's going to happen? It's going to further hike food prices. When this gets implemented, what's going to happen? It's Arnab, going to get worse. Arnab, 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 I think we are, no we are missing we are missing the core point. We are missing the core point about this food security bill. What is that? It is not going to use the old structure. It is trying to create a new structure. The new structure is Walmart for distribution, Monsanto for seed, Cargill and Conagra for grain trade. Hand it over to them. I didn't see that written in, in the bill. Cash I vouchers. Didn't see that I didn't see uh, Walmart or it's Monsanto it's appearing written written in the bill. It's written in the footnotes. By the way, I, I don't support the FSB, well, but the they point don't mention the difference in Walmart. If you are giving up, if you are giving up your commitment to procure from Indian farmers, you are in effect saying Indian farmers will sell to the corporations. The government will buy from the corporation that is a, at whatever that's price. That's a different debate from the, the FSB debate. And, you're, and you're the poor who are given cash vouchers, no. the poor you're, are you're given cash vouchers. I say, vouchers I say, I say, I say to today, that of I, I say today, as I go to the next caller, I say today, the cry across India will be make food prices the priority because the increase food price, food is an essential absolutely. item. The yes, increase absolutely. in food prices by around 53 to 55 percent is double the increase of the general price level. It is much higher than the general so food index. Not, not, not monetary policy or inflation. You know, Arnav, if you look at no, just an no, absolute no, term, don't in the not price even a purchasing food. power parity. No, it's about a dysfunctional food system. Our next caller from Hyderabad. Our next caller is from Hyderabad. Phone lines are still open. I'm going to take a couple of more calls. If you look at buying a car, things are cheaper in the US than they are in India. That's unfortunate. And this is not according to purchasing power parity. Well, that's unfortunate. That's what some people did say. It's terribly wrong with the way things are governed in this country. It's the opposite of purchasing power parity. Well, that's what people said. There are better storage facilities. Maybe soon we'll start importing food from from the United States of America rather than other way around. Uh, a caller comes in from Hyderabad and our next caller from Hyderabad is Vinay. Vinay, good evening. Uh, good evening, Arnab. Are you feeling the pinch, uh, Vinay, yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Arnab. I'm from Hyderabad and uh, I have a question. Uh, why, why don't the government, you know, uh, learn from the mistakes that they do? And mostly the, the food has been wasted a lot. Even if we see the Uttarakhand uh, tragedy, the food has been supplied from across the India and the food has been wasted there and there are no warehouses, there are no cold storages and what is the government doing? The food is not actually... No, no, you don't need cold storages food. in the Himalaya, it's cold. No, no I'm, I'm sorry, the, the warehouses or whatever it is, but, but uh, the uh, people, the, you know, the, the normal, the uh, poor people is not, uh, you know, getting the proper food. So I, 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 I say Vinay, I say, I say Vinay. But this, the, the tragedy Arnav, of Arnav, Uttarakhand Arnav, is because Arnav, the Arnav, local Arnav, people the gave their food Arnav, and fed the pilgrims Arnav, while they were stranded. Arnav, it is not a normal phenomena. The need for food in Uttarakhand that's a different is subject. because of that's a disaster a different subject. which is man-made. I'm taking one more caller and I'd like to yeah. say this once again. What happened in 1980? Indira Gandhi capitalized on the price of onions touching 5 rupees a kilo under Charan Singh's regime. So the price of onions, the price of food from 1998 Sushma Swaraj 
1980 charan and what singh what is the price of onions today well what is the price of cauliflower what is the price of tomato what is what is the price absolutely, of uh, what, what is the price of ginger it, it 200 rupees a kilo wheat and rice and there don't is leave the staples there out is what is the price why, why of wheat is, and rice I, i'm asking you why 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 are tomato absolutely. prices going up 10 20% every week price? what is the government doing to fight hoarders in a situation you have you have artificial scarcity and are not acting against yeah. enough the hoarders this is action so you, you need to import tomatoes well you need to act will on you, the system will you fight inflation by importing tomatoes well will you will you which will is, you will, which is what the I walmart think, are supposed to do no, no, well you you know you're not understanding the point i'm saying today mr modoswami is politician yeah, I, should i understand the well, politician i understand right this right argument right. very well oh no, you you are not sir politicians are, have underestimated the you impact know, of high prices on their electoral the, performances